Rose Renton says it started as a symbolic protest against a controversial poison drop at a Nelson Wildlife Sanctuary. But Nick Smith calls it the most serious incident in his 27 years as Nelson MP. Dr Smith said he had poison rubbed in his hair and clothes, while Ms Renton maintained she only ever touched him lightly. The case opened in the Nelson District Court today before two justices of the peace, and our reporter Tracy Neal was there. It's a fraud, a crime! Against nature. It's all in our backyard. Oh, right. oh, but you don't want you, it. You're fine to do it in our backyard. It's okay, but 20 we all to have a Yeah, and you don't listen, Smith. You don't listen, Smith. The events of last September were captured on cell phones, but it's what they don't show that's in dispute. Dr Smith, who was Environment Minister at the time, was going about his weekly constituent meetings from his caravan parked at the Nelson Market. Ms Renton and her partner went there from the Brook Sanctuary several kilometres away and a kerfuffle took place. In an interview with the police played in court today, Ms Renton says she was among residents of the Brook Valley reacting to an aerial drop of poison pellets in a nearby wildlife sanctuary. It was heartbreaking and a very emotional morning for the people that live there and have lived and farmed up there, one for generations. They blamed Dr Smith's administration for allowing the poison drop to happen. Ms Renton and her partner took advantage of a large police presence at the sanctuary and headed to the Nelson Market and Dr Smith's caravan. I suggested it would be a good idea to show Nick what it felt like to be violated by poison and violated in a symbolic way and suggested chicken pellets or animal feed. Her partner suggested rat bait. They bought it off the shelf from the warehouse. She was later charged with offensive behaviour after police initially thought the incident warranted an assault charge. Ms Renton denies witness statements she was seen rubbing the poison in Dr Smith's face or that she threatened his family. I never touched Nick Smith's face, as he said in the media. I never shoved Nick Smith, as he said in the media, and I never threatened his family, as Nick said in the media. The way I see it is Nick Smith is using his position as an MP to um, bully back. Detective Fiona Hutchings told the court today the cell phone footage shows the pair putting their hands on Dr Smith's lapels but not on his face. Dr Smith says he's adamant he got poison rubbed on his face and hair but conceded the videos did not show the rat poison being thrown. The part of the incident that is not shown in either of those videos that I did see was the throwing of the uh, poison. I certainly saw pallets being thrown into the caravan. Uh, and later, when we cleaned the caravan up, they were found. And secondly, there was um, pallets or powder that was thrown to me, or at me. The debate then moved into a political tussle between defence lawyer Sue Gray, who asked Dr Smith if he was aware that inappropriate use of poison was harmful to the environment. He said he didn't know he was on trial for decisions he'd made as environment minister. I'm having difficulty understanding where these questions relate to an offensive incident well, that occurred at the market. Well, would you mind answering my questions, Dr Smith, because we've agreed it all depends on the circumstances. I'm asking you about the I, I'm happy to answer questions in the Parliament about the policy that I had as Minister of Conservation, and I answered many. I didn't think I was here before the court to answer questions about the government's policy. Ms Renton told the police at the time if she had her time again, she wouldn't have done it. The hearing is set to continue. In Nelson for Checkpoint, Tracy Neal.